What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another freaking video. Today is going to be a little bit different. It's still going to be truck oriented, but it's not going to be me actually working on my truck. So if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, you guys know I have a 2006 Ford F-150 XLT with 5.4 liter V8 Triton engine, four wheel drive. <gasps> it's a mouthful. And, but I'm always doing uh, like custom and unique stuff to it. I'm always buying parts and installing them myself. So I save a lot of money because I buy my auto parts off of either eBay or Amazon. Um, and I always do the work myself. So I save money by not taking it to like a dealership or an auto shop and having somebody charge me to install the parts, um, you know, to install the parts on my truck. But I also save a ton of money by not buying like direct from like like the big time name brand. I, I'll try my best not to like, you know, name any of these uh, companies that I feel like overcharge you for products. Um, but you know, just when you buy off of eBay and Amazon, you save so much money. The issue sometimes with that can be that when you buy a product off of these certain types of websites, um, it can be a little bit sketchy. Sometimes they can be terrible quality. Sometimes they can say, oh yeah, this fits your truck, but it, then you know they send you the product and it actually doesn't fit the truck. Sometimes these people have terrible customer service when you're trying to return a part that wasn't correct. It can be a little bit of a nightmare, but I've been doing this for a long time, um, ordering parts off of you know eBay and Amazon, and I feel like I have gotten a checklist down that if a company or a specific product meets all three or four items on this checklist that you can guarantee that it's going to be a good product that fits your truck um, and it's going to be a, you know, a positive, good money saving experience. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to walk you guys through all the steps that I use before I will click that purchase button on either eBay or Amazon. Um, it's going to be super straightforward. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we got our screen pulled up right here. I'm going to show you guys step by step what I do, what I go through to make sure that the part that I'm going to be purchasing is a reputable product. It's a pretty straightforward thing. There's nothing like too fancy. So let's just say um, I'll actually use a personal example right here. So I'm in the process, excuse me, of purchasing a new Ford Raptor grill for my 2006 Ford F-150. So I'm actually going to want to go ahead and change that to a 2006 Ford Raptor grill. So I want the one specifically right here that has the F and the R in it. I don't want one of these, um, these dude grills, as you guys can see right here. Um, so I want it to say the F and the, uh, and the R right there. I don't want it to actually, um, you know, just be like the straight D O O D all the way across. So, First thing I do is I do a Google search right here and I kind of get an idea of what the price range is going to be. You can even click on shopping if you want. I kind of get an idea of what a good price for this thing is going to be and what a bad price is going to be. Um, from what I'm looking at right here, specifically for my, um, what you call it, for my uh, year model of truck, I noticed that they actually run a little bit more expensive. So you can see right here, this guy right here fits my truck. And it's, you know, 2006 right there. If you go up to some of the newer ones, it's actually far less expensive. So I actually find that pretty interesting. But once you figure out what the um, price is going to be, then you want to go ahead and start looking at like, um, well, I'll just go ahead. Let's, let's hop over to Amazon real quick. Uh, six Ford F-150 Raptor Grill. Okay. So you're looking at them right here. We already know that we don't want one of these guys right here, one of these guys right here because it's got the dude. We want to make sure that we've got this F and the R in it as well. So I'm looking at this guy. This is Amazon's choice. What you want to look at, the very first thing you want to look for is does it have reviews from people who have bought it? So as you can see, the four guys right here all have reviews. This guy only has three, but it doesn't really matter because that's not what we want. We're going to be looking at these two guys specifically on the left. So this guy has 31 reviews, pretty good, uh, average of four stars. This guy has 33 reviews, um, and it's less expensive, and it has um, a higher average star rating. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on that. So we already know that it's what we want. Um, you know, with, with everything, it's got the F and the R, it's going to have the three amber uh, LED lights right there. It comes with the wiring harness, very easy installation. This seems, you know, definitely like the product that we want and that we're going to get. So when you're buying off of eBay or Amazon, because it's not always a known name brand product, you always got to read the customer reviews. And so 
That's step one, read customer reviews. Step two is see if the actual people who have reviewed it have photos. So as you can see, this is a great example right here. This has already hit um, number one and number two on the checklist. Is people actually have bought this product and they're um, posting pictures of what the final product looks like. And this is a, what does this guy say? He has a 2005 F-150. You know, good, good value, adds on an aggressive look. It looks awesome on his truck. There's clearly no fitment issues. All the LEDs work. So this is something that you really wanna pay attention to because as I mentioned earlier in the video, there are a lot of companies that will say, oh yeah, this product fits your model of truck when in reality it doesn't, it's kind of just like a one size fits all type of product. So this um, guy right here looks awesome. It checked off one and two on the checklist of does it have customer reviews and does it have photos? So now let's do a little bit more research and see if we can actually um, you know, find anything on YouTube or find any other reviews of this specific company. Cause like I said, also sometimes they have really bad, uh, you know, customer service or, you know, something like that. And, you know, returning a product or getting faulty products can sometimes be an issue. So we're going to go ahead and look up seven Sparta grill for F-150 and we're going to plug that into Google. So that is paste and search. Here we go. So seven Sparta. So Let's see. Okay, there's actually a couple. It might actually be easier to just plug this straight into YouTube. I mean, heck, you guys are watching this on YouTube right now. Might as well use the same search engine. Okay, 7 Sparta Grill for F-150. All right, now this guy right here, this uh, auto vlog guy, he has a 2000 and I forget what it is. It's not actually a Raptor, but it's a F-150. I'll just mute it. It's an F-150 and he's done a lot of like different things to it. It's an awesome channel. Um, I have no affiliation with this guy at all, but I love his channel and he does a lot of really awesome stuff to it. That's an actual Raptor there on the right. I've been a long time subscriber of this guy. So let's get to the part. Okay, so this guy actually bought the seven Sparta Ford F-150 Raptor grill. As you can see, this guy has a ton of subscribers. I forget how many subscribers he has, but if this guy is putting his name on it, then I definitely feel comfortable in the fact that this is something that I could buy and it's something that's going to you know, work for my truck. See, he's got almost like half, half a million subscribers. So if this guy is making a video about it, it's definitely a high quality product. Here's another guy right down here. Um, all out F-150. I've actually spoken to this guy a little bit in the comments and he's very, very responsive. Um, he made a video about, he got this um, exact, uh, what you call it, Ford grill, as you can see, it looks fantastic on his truck. There's no fitment issues um, and he's liking it as well. So like this is, pro this is basically step three where you're doing a little bit further investigation of whether or not this product is actually going to work for your truck. Um, do people who have a good reputation, are they vouching for it? You know, sometimes, you know, you aren't going to be as lucky as I am and find like a guy with half a million subscribers talking about how awesome, you know, this grill is and everything. But if you can, then like I said earlier, if the, if, you know, if the product is crossing off all four items on your list, then you can without even hesitation know that this is going to be the product for you. Um, Fourth, we're just gonna go ahead and look at the price. Um, this seems like a pretty uh, reasonable price right here at 150 bucks, as I said earlier. It does seem that when you have a newer model truck, um, like see right here, 2009, 2014, which is a model year newer than mine, um, or a uh, just a model newer than mine, not a year newer than mine, you get a little bit um, less expensive, which I actually find to be pretty interesting. Normally the newest and hottest things are the things that are most expensive. So yeah, those are the three main things that I always check before I go purchasing um, anything off of these websites. This has actually been like, I mean, this one was actually like almost too good of an example because I didn't have to really try that hard. Um, but this is actually a product that I'm going to be buying. So obviously look forward to that on the channel coming up in, in the near future. But um, this is actually, I wanted to show you guys realistically of the real process that I go through when, um, when I'm trying to buy one of these products. All right, guys, that's going to completely wrap up today's video. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys and it can, you know, help you guys make better decisions when you guys are going to be going out and purchasing your products. Thank you so much to everyone who's been subscribing to the channel. You know, um, 
uh, following me on Instagram, messaging me on Instagram. Actually, I just got done messaging one of you guys right now on Instagram about some questions you had about installing the front bumper and like, do I have wheel spacers on and all that kind of stuff. Thank you guys so much for the, all the support you've been giving me. We're at over like 600 subscribers right now, which is just, I mean, anytime I get a new subscriber in general, I'm like, dang, that's awesome. But the fact that like we've already gotten to where we've gotten right now is just awesome. Um, Honestly, I, I mean, I feel like this channel is just going to continue to grow as long as I'm making content because you guys are just freaking awesome. The best subscribers um, out there right now, without a doubt. But if you guys have any questions, if I wasn't clear about something or if you guys need me to expand more on something, leave it in the comments below. If you guys are new or if this video helped you guys out, just consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. Appreciate all you guys. We'll catch you next time.